Hi everyone, welcome to Be Smart Together. Before we start, please click subscribe and turn on the notification to avoid missing valuable videos. Also, feel free to drop a comment below. Today, I will show you how to use the list.transform function. I want to demonstrate how to use this function to define the data type with and without conditions dynamically. Also, the last example is how to replace errors. Before we dive into those examples, let me briefly explain a bit about this function. Say we have a list starting from 1 to 10, and we want to add 1 to each number. So, we apply the functions to add 1 to each item on the list. There are two requirements for this function, a list and a transform function. In this case, the list is the 1 to 10 where the transform function is each plus 1. Let us begin. Select all columns. Go to the Transform tab and then click on the Detect Data Type. Now data type is defined for all selected columns. Highlighted code is a list generated through the Detect Data Type function. You can see each column's name and data type in the curly brackets. Copy the highlighted code, add a new custom step, and then paste the copied code to replace the default highlighted code. This is what the code produces, a list and sublists. Click on the first one which is what it looks like in each list. Drill down on the first one, then click on the type cell. The data type is date time. We want to rewrite the code and achieve the view presented. Go back to the previous step. Delete the highlighted code, and type in source to refer to the source step. We need the column names and the first row. We need to add two functions to the current code, table.demote headers to demote the headers to the first row and table.first enter select the first two rows. Now, we need to turn the first two rows into this view. We need the table.toColumns function in this case. Let's add it to the current code. Here we go. Click on the first one to view the content. We need to transform the value in the second row into a type value. Finally, it is time to apply the list.transform function. Here is the transformation function. The list.first function returns the first one on the list, and the list.last function returns the last one on the list. The key to turning this into type value is the value.type function. We add this function to the second one. Let's preview the result. It looks good. Now, go to the next step to check the type value. What if the value time is not returning us the desired type? For instance, date instead of date time. We can add a conditional function in this case. The highlighted is the conditional function we are applying. The logic is if the value type is date time, then return type date instead or return the value type as it is. We can go to the custom to step to check the outcome. Awesome. It is now date instead of date time. The replacement code is now ready. Go back to the custom one step, copy the code, go to the change type step, and then replace the highlighted code with the replacement code. Awesome, you now have the dynamic change type. Let me create a few errors for our new example. Select all columns, go to the transform tab, click replace values, and then select replace errors. Say we want to replace the errors with 9999999999. Again, highlighted code is a list that Power Query generated as part of the function. Let's go to the custom one step and start constructing our replacement code. Look at the generated code, and the red font is the column names. So, we need to get a list of column names. The table for column names is what we need. Then, we add the list.transform function on top of it as highlighted. Remember the curly brackets are the symbol turning the values into a list, which means we are turning each of the values on the list into a sublist. Click on the first one to preview. Now, look at the generated code again. We have the column name on the list, but we have yet to get the replace values, and we need to add it to the list. Let's preview and check each of the sublists. Replace values have now been added to each of the sublists. The replacement code is now ready. So let's copy it, go to the replaced errors step, and replace the highlighted code with the replacement code. So all the errors are now replaced with 9999999999. Thank you for watching, and I hope you find this video helpful.
Please don't forget to click like if you like the video.